Hey everyone, I uh, thought I'd do a bit of a Halloween spooktacular. Um, so this is uh, Stories Untold, a game that I've actually had for quite a while but never actually played. I've got no friggin' idea uh, what it's about. Uh, four episodes here it looks like, so I wonder if I could... I might have the possibility for a little bit of a series here if I do them one at a time. Or just maybe just play through all four of them. I don't think this is a particularly long game from what I've seen. Um, uh, reviews sort of saying. Um, I got I got this as part of a Humble Bundle um, probably about a year ago. So I'm recording this a little bit before Halloween. But I'll um, we'll see how it goes. I might put it out on Halloween or if it's four different videos it might be like a run up to Halloween sort of thing. But I've also got another idea for maybe a Halloween video. But uh, anyway, I hope you're all doing fine. I am sitting in the dark with headphones on with a Diet Coke. And I don't know what the, what the, what the, right. So let's just crack on. Oh, fuck off. Very sort of 80s vibe to this, uh, Stranger Things kind of vibe actually. That was a pretty amazing intro I thought. Um, that's quite clearly supposed to be a ZX Spectrum plus two, 128k tape loader. I think it says Futuro on there, so obviously not really a Spectrum but totally a Spectrum. Um, is this going to be like a, like a text adventure? <laughs> I'm just going to have to like read it out. Um, the house abandoned. You pull up to the driveway with the family, park the car, it's dark. Well, I remember being told to look in the glove box for going in. It's good to be back. If I click or press return. Oh, am I going to have to... Yeah. The glove box is closed but appears to be unlocked. Right. This isn't going to be much of a Halloween video, I think. No, I don't, don't, don't think I'm going to shit my pants. Uh, okay, um, read note. Hi son, hope you're enjoying your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. I just remember from all the time we'll go. Um, the house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Um, open the door. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Well, I've got a key. Use key. Okay. 
open door. So so far this is pretty cool. It's, it's, this is listed as a horror game in, in Steam. But, uh, well, we'll see, I suppose. Um, I suppose to some people the concept of a text adventure is pretty scary. Certainly the noise of a spectrum loading might be scary. All of this just reminds me of being like maybe eight. <laughs> used, used to play like the, the Hobbit text adventure game. If I type in shit, what happens? Shit. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Take. Ah, shit. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Fuck you. Oh well. <laughs> it's always worth a try. There was one text adventure that I played where if you swore, you got teleported to a room where there was a sink and a bar of soap and you had to wash your mouth out in order to get back into the game. Uh, Enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door. However, while you use switch, the power is going to be off. Yeah. Okay, well, it did. Um, house to the hallway is dark. Oh, the janitor's around back. Exit house. Okay, house is going, blah, 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 blah. Pretty sure my uh, grandparents had a TV like that, with the sort of the wood and the big chunky buttons down the side. Right, so the yard for the power. Take a walk around the yard. Yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories, right? You see a generator in the back wall of the house. Use generator. Okay, so the generator is on. Um, go to front. Back down to the front of the house. Open door. Step inside the front door. is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as set of stairs going up. Okay. Go to the kitchen. You walk to the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. So the utility door room is locked. Um, go to hall. Hopefully this is uh, exciting viewing. Go to living room. Spacious and comfortable living room. Spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with a family. Warm and inviting. Nothing here of interest. I'm going to quickly go back to the kitchen and see if there's anything in the kitchen of interest. Stairs. Don't understand. Uh, go up. St stairs. St 
terrible landing. There's a bathroom, two bedrooms, me and my sisters, pictures on the walls, images of happy times. Let's look at those pictures. Family photos and holiday snaps are happy family. Go to bathroom. It's been a long drive. Step inside the bathroom. But it's all in good order. The bathroom is clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Okay, well, let's look in the mirror, shall we? It's my reflection. Looking good. Right. Use toilet. I don't know what you're trying to use. Well, you're in a bathroom, son. Take a... <laughs> this is what I used to do. I'm trying to, like, tell Frodo to tell Gandalf to fuck off. And, uh, <laughs> tell Sam to go away. Uh, well, okay, so there's not much happening in the bathroom. Go to... Uh, go to landing, landing. Step back on the landing. Stairwell landing is a bathroom, two bedroom sister. Okay, so if I say... Go... To my bedroom. Your old bedroom, so many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. A large gift wrapped present. The tag says my name. <gasps> you unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer, a Futuro 128K plus two. Well, that's what's on the desk there. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Press enter to continue. On your desk is a Futuro 128K plus 2 computer and a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to be set up though. So that's it's describing this set up in front of me then. And playing the house abandoned. Okay. Um, I'm going to quickly... Check my sister's room. Something's happening to the TV screen there, or is it my imagination? Sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you'd seen her. Posters of our heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colourful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. There's also a large wardrobe. Oh god. In the in the corner of the room, the door slightly jar. It's empty, apart from a pile of photographs at the bottom. They're all identical, a forest road at night. You put them back. Okay, got an achievement for that. Hmm, right. That's a little... A little bit freaky, I'm not going to lie. Let's go back to the landing and then go and set up the computer. Like fuck. Just sit down and play bloody dizzy or something. Well, house abandoned, I suppose. Uh, go to. Is that just gonna. Oh, I knew it. It's a new horror game called The House Abandoned. Looks ace. 
it's a load game. Surely a load game, but I'll open computer. Play game. Put the cassette in the computer and press play. Fucking Jesus! Okay, so things have taken a turn. <laughs> the uh, it's loaded the game again, but that that's different text. Ever so slightly. Right, I'll open the glove box. Well played, game. Well played. Inside a key and a note. You take both. Don't recognize the handwriting. It says. Get out, get out, get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car, get out, get out, get out. <gasps> Exit car. You force the warped car open. House looks abandoned, there's a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Go to yard. Step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Book around, ar around an old generator next to you. Use generator. Oh my god. <laughs> there isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Oh, there's the eyes and the photos are. Uh, and blacked out. Go to front. You go back to the front of the house. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. Okay, so can I just type in use key? Because I know it's locked. Yeah. Open the door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished sore more by the smell, stale air and damp. Cannot be less by the note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Read note. It's too dark to read. But it feels weird to the touch. Well no, there's a switch. Lights flicker on and off, the walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. Stains and trails all over the <laughs> Upstairs the sound of an alarm clock blaring, someone else is in this house, that can't be. Stop the clock. Some of you are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. A kitchen, a living room, adjacent and stairs leading up. A note feels disgusting in your hands. You can't read the note. It's bleeding. Go to the kitchen. Kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. Tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. Writing on the wall in the utility room has a red X painted on it. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Utility room door is locked, yep. Can't get in there, not yet. Look carcass. You look closer but can't tell what it is or what it was. Go to hall. 
step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Some, yeah, okay. Go to the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Read note. The note, always changing, now reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. The living room again. Stairs, they creak. Same but different. Something's different about the pictures. Oh! <coughs> Behind the door, the phone starts to ring. You don't understand, neither can he. Answer phone. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever you consider the worst. Hang up phone. Right. So I'm... Oh, the 1986 has appeared in the wall there, look. And it... Right, okay, so go to... Kitchen. Yes, go kitchen. Can't even type. Kitchen. No, it's not okay. Ah, bathroom, bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered with a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. A broken mirror. Look, mirror. You can't bear to look at yourself. Take a dump. Okay, go to landing. So I'm in my room. Go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Go to my room. Door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Go. Oh no, well then I haven't looked at the pictures yet. The pictures are of your family, the eyes have been scored out on all. Bedroom. The 
bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here, I shouldn't be here. So it's like, this, so I'm standing behind myself at this spectrum. I'm sorry Jennifer, I'm sorry Mum, I'm sorry Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. I was, It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consu consumed and confused. This has to end now. End. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. stop. Finally. <laughs>